As we told you earlier, thousands of college students were at the oceanfront for an event called Beach Weekend. Ten on your side's Lauren Compton spoke to the promoter of that event. She joins us live from the oceanfront now. Lauren? Ann, and he tells me that several promoters organize this event every year. They organize it around finals week. It's a way for college students to blow off some steam. Business owners here tell me they look forward to having the extra tourists, but not when it goes down the way it did this weekend. What up, baby? It was supposed to be a weekend of partying before finals for college students. Instead, college beach week turned into chaos. I seen a fight. It was two girls fighting. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. There was a lot of commotion and a lot of drama. Uh, a few gunshots, too. In the midst of these crowds and heavy police presence, there were three shootings, two stabbings, and three robberies overnight. City officials estimate 30 to 40,000 people came down to the oceanfront for the beach week. There were also 75 to 88 officers keeping watch. The event also attracts a lot of out of towners like Charisma Jackson from Baltimore was unfazed by all of the violence that broke out here. I think it's still it's still fun. I mean, it happens when you get a lot of people together like that stuff happens. That goes, you know, everywhere to me, everywhere you go. It's like that. The large crowds had a major effect on oceanfront businesses. Here you go, sir. It brought in some big sales, but also a lot of trouble. We want tours. We want to welcome them. But on the other hand, it's it's disappointing when things just get out of hand. The commotion came right to Kathy Grissom's Pirates Paradise mini golf Saturday night. Her surveillance video caught several men dragging their injured friend to a table. The individual is bleeding from his face, and um, he said that he he really wasn't able to communicate real well. Because so many emergency officials were tending to calls at the oceanfront, Grissom says it took an hour for an ambulance to come help the young man. It was very intense. It was just a really intense situation when it's hard that nobody, when you call for help and nobody responds. The next day, she got another surprise. Her surveillance video caught someone stealing the bikes she rents to tourists. Now, one of the promoters of College Weekend told me that they are considering reaching out to Virginia Beach City officials to try to organize this event together so it's a little bit safer if this event comes here next weekend. Now, some officers have been around here in the area. College Weekend is over, but they're still feeling the effects of it. We've seen a couple of fights break out here ourselves tonight, so uh, it's, it's done for the most part tonight. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side.